Hey guys, it's Zigzag here. So today we're going to be opening up our first collector's booster from this set. So yep, we're going to take a look at this and then open up the first booster today. So let's begin. So it's got kind of a shiny packaging to it. Um, let's see. Yep, it's sealed with shrink wrap bearing Wishes of the Crest logo. Then all of their uh, copyright and contact information. Collector's boosters may contain these cards. Coria 1 through 363. Coria 370 through 387. Corset 21 through 71. Each booster includes 9 to 10 foil and 3 to 6 rare mythic rare cards. 5% 3, 54% 4, 38% 5, 3% 6. Foil Mythic Showcase or Borderless Planeswalker card in 2.4% of boosters. Details at magic.com, uh, magic.wizards.com slash product details. So this is interesting. They're including core set cards as well, and I think they've upped the rare count quite a bit in this set. I guess it's not that much, but um. All right, so the 2.4 percent—that's one in about 41, 42-ish. Uh, one in 2.5 percent is one in 40, so 2.4 percent is one in slightly over 40. Um, contains 12 boosters, collector booster display. The King of Monsters has arrived. That's right, Godzilla has crashed the shore into the world of magic. Each 15 card collector booster contains one card with alternate art portraying Godzilla or a different Toho monster. At least six special alternate frame cards, three to six rares or mythics, and at least nine premium foils. Score unique cards for your collection and take part in a crossover of earth-shaking proportions. Six alternate frames. All right, we'll get into them and start seeing. Anyways, um, yep. So, no actual art on the uh, foldover tab, which is interesting. And then these are probably all going to be the yep. that card that I got a foil of a pack or two ago that I completely forget at the moment um, alright so I wonder how these ones will appear because um, Gem Razor. Uh, I talked before about how like odd the packs are with how the cards are arranged. These feel like uh, standard packs, so 
like the normal kind of what I've expected from the past few sets. These ones also appear like the regular boosters in that they are backwards. So first up we have a foil alternate art pouncing shark. Which um, 285 I already have. Oh, but it's foil anyways, so yep. This one's new, uh, number 372. Oops. Sorry, still trying to get my uh, spreadsheet to be correct. Just do delete on that. Three seventy two. Baby Godzilla. Ruin reborn. Rarity, uncommon. It is a blue card. Uh, this is just a regular art. All right, so I'm going to have to start adjusting this. 97, so this is 06. Actually, te technically this only goes eight in front of the box top or so. So, sorry about that. Baby Godzilla, Ruin Reborn, Polywog Symbiote, Two Mana Blue, Creature Frog, 1 3. Each creature spell you cast costs 1 mana less to cast if it has Mutate. Whenever you cast a, uh, whenever you cast a creature spell, if it has Mutate, Draw a card, then discard a card. So that goes right there. Next up, we have Rawgrin Triome. This is number 311. This is also an alternate art. Rare, and this is technically an SP land.
which, um, yeah, I need to add another page as well. So, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm pretty sure I have the regular version of this card. Yep. So we'll skip reading that. Uh, Volpakeet. So if you saw my like PSA on the. Uh, theme booster, then you know that Volpakeet is a card that I was guaranteed to already have. This one, though, I'm not. It doesn't look like I have. Number 296, Glowstone Recluse Alternate Art. Uh, this one is uncommon. Green, white, and regular. So yeah, there's the Vulpakeet again. And then the Glowstone Recluse goes right here. Which I already have the regular version of this card, so I'm going to skip reading it. Shark Typhoon. This is a foil, just a regular version of the card. And I already have this card, so. I have this as a regular card. All right, number 345. This one is just regular. Three forty five, three eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, so I don't know quite where this goes, but um, I know which slot it should go in. Anyways, uh, check out. Do we have Swither Wisp already? All right, I do have a regular copy of this card already. So I'm just going to put this one in here and move on. Uh, Spellpire Phoenix. This is, oh, I guess the. C20 might have been Commander 20. Um, actually, I can check. Huh. Uh, oh. Yeah. All right.
not planning on collecting the commander set or whatever set this is from. So we're just going to put this in a sleeve and put it in with my other random cards. All right, we've got a foil Iwin number 265. Foil Swallow Hole. Which I have a copy of. It's weird how, um, so like the uh, collector's booster from like Theros Beyond Death and Throne of Eldraine. We started out with the commons, then moved to uncommons, then to the rares. These ones just seem completely mixed up, which I'm not sure if there was some kind of pattern there that they were trying to avoid having this time around, but yeah, it's very much different for some reason. Uh, flame spill. Regular art. Uh, this one is a foil, so flame spill. You could always just be trying to um, make the entire pack more interesting by. Um, fully grown foil by mixing around where the cards are then again they could actually could just be theoretically opening this in reverse which is also a possibility uh, suffocating fumes and it actually looks like a Frenzied Raptor Foil uh, Gust of Wind Foil We've got Human Soldier number four foil. And on the other side, we have Beast number 10 foil. All right. Well, I think next time I'm going to look at the cards in the correct direction. Just because I felt like I began at the wrong end of that pack. Anyways. So. Put this away. So one card that wasn't part of any set. Just throw that with the uh, Magic 20 cards. And yep. So that was a look at the collector's booster box and opening the first pack from that. Uh, yeah, this has been ZigZag. Thank you for joining me today. Bye.